number 16 might take some brain power. It says, if the sum of three consecutive integers is 57, then find the smallest of the integers. So what does it mean to be consecutive? That means it's one after the other one, like five, six, seven, or something like that. So in other words, we have a number here. We then have a, uh, another number right after it, so that would be, what, x plus 1. Um, and then we have another number after that one, so that's plus another one, so x plus 2 total. All right. So these would be our three consecutive numbers. The sum of them, so when we add them up, has to be equal to 57. So now we need to find the smallest one of those integers, which would be x. So in this case, we're just solving for x. So in this case, let's combine like terms. I have x plus x plus x, which will give me 3x. And then I have 1 plus 2, which is going to give me 3, and that's going to be equal to that 57. I'm going to subtract the 3 from both sides, giving me that 3x is going to be equal to 57 minus 3 is going to be 54. Then I need to divide both sides by 3 to get x by itself. So let's take a look here. How many times does 54 get divided by 3? Well, 3 goes into the 5 one time with 2 left over, and 3 goes into 24 a total of 8 times. So that means dividing 54 by 3 is giving me 18. The 3s over here cancel out, meaning that we have a final answer of x equal to 18, which is answer B.